Because you're talking about what? You're talking about bitching about that sale you shot. Some son of a bitch don't want to buy land. Somebody don't want what you're selling. Some broad you're trying to screw, so forth. Let's talk about something important. Are they all here? All but one. But well, I'm going anyway. Let's talk about something important. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for closers only. Coffee is for closers. You just saw a clip from Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, of Alec Baldwin's famous speech, which talks about how a salesperson needs to act to make sales. This kind of hard line sales persona is generally what people think of when they think of salesmen. But in today's modern age of social media, and especially in the coaching and consulting space, that type of hard selling doesn't really work. Instead, what works really, really well is creating a congruent and authentic sales story which does the work of selling for you without you having to be pushy, hardline, and salesy. So let's talk about story selling, and I'm gonna give you my formula for creating a sales story of your own that will serve both you and your audience. Why storytelling? Storytelling is one of the most powerful tools we have. There's a reason that before we had written language, stories were the way that ideas, values, and culture were passed down because when people listen to storytelling, what they're really doing is reading your mind. Stephen King in his book on writing talks about how storytelling is the closest thing to mind reading in the real world. When I tell you a story, for example, I once got lost on a snowboarding trip in Breckenridge for 17 hours. When I tell you that story, it's very exhilarating. You're gonna feel like you were there even if you've never snowboarded before. I'm going to paint a vivid image of the snow falling off the trail, coming to an edge of a cliff that was hundreds of feet in the air, and you're gonna understand what these images are. As I just told you that little snippet of story, you probably got a mental image of snow, a cliff, etc. So storytelling is an invaluable tool for serving your audience and for making sales. Another thing that's really amazing about storytelling is that storytelling actually has a chemical reaction on your brain. When you listen to stories, your brain releases oxytocin, which is the trust chemical, making you feel more trusting and more connected to the person telling you the story. Storytelling is very much a shared experience. When I share things through a story, you're going to get an idea of who I am as a person and whether or not I'm someone that you want to work with. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. So what goes into creating a selling story that is going to really serve your audience? Formula. I have a three-part formula for creating a sales story that will serve both you and your audience. The first part is to inform. This is where you're gonna use what I call who I am stories. And to inform them, your goal is basically to explain who you are how you came to be who you are, the process you went through, provide a little bit of social proof, and brand you as an authority. If you saw my video a little while ago about becoming an authority with your content, that's where this stuff comes in. Once you have informed them, it's now time to inspire. With inspiration, what you want to do is you want to talk about where the person you're talking to is now, whether it's a client or prospect, and where they want to be. This is where you're gonna fit in your vision story. And this is not just a vision for them, but a vision for your idea of the future. If you teach you know, health coaching, you might talk about you know, creating a global healthy food movement. You might talk about your vision for people living longer because of what you teach. If you teach launches, you might talk about how when people launch businesses, you're empowering people in different parts of the world to become entrepreneurs. But this vision is very, very, very important. You want to inform them of why they should listen to you and who you are, then inspire them with a vision of the future. And last but certainly not least, you want to talk about how you can serve them. Right? When I think about selling, I really don't even like the word selling anymore. I like the word serving because that's what you're doing. When you provide a valuable service, you are serving them. You're showing them the path. 
that they must walk in order to become who they want to be and fulfill their vision. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. Inform, inspire, serve. That's all you need in a story selling capacity. That's really all you need to create a sales story that will work for you and your clients. So as an exercise, go ahead and write down your sales story right now. Talk about who you are, how you became who you are, what makes you an expert, what your vision is, not just for the client in front of you, but for humanity, and how you're going to serve not just the client in front of you, but humanity going forward. That story will make you more sales than any sort of ABC, always be closing style selling will. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave me a comment below, and I will talk to you very soon.